All right then, so some exciting stuff to talk about today. Last night, Activision released their proper Season 2 gameplay trailer for Warzone and Black Ops Cold War, and it was just packed full of new content coming to the game very, very soon. Season 2 is starting on February 25th, which is just next week. I think we all thought Season 2 was starting in March, but it's starting a little bit earlier. And with regards to Warzone from that trailer, we got a few new things to discuss, like Verdansk map changes and several new weapons. And all of that information is also coming from a massive blog post that Activision released alongside the new trailer. So we're going to go through everything Warzone related in this video so you know exactly what to expect next week when that new season goes live. Okay, first of all, let's discuss these map changes then. We all thought with Season 2, or at least most of us did, that we'd be getting a new Warzone map, but it seems the storyline is not quite over yet for Verdansk, although it does appear that we're closing in towards the end of the map. The tagline for this new season is called The End Begins, so read into that what you want to. Within the trailer itself, we do get a very brief look at what these Verdansk map changes are going to be, Two different monument areas of the map are shown in the trailer. One of them is at the very south point of the map by the construction site, and the other one is to the west of the military base at the top of the hill. Both of these are shown in the trailer, and as you can see, the monuments themselves have either moved or they're no longer there. This clip here reveals a missile silo underneath the monument location, and a new zip line has been added so that players can climb out of those silos. No doubt these are going to be massive hotspots on the map when the new season starts. And I've got a feeling that these silos, they tie into the previous cinematic that we saw with Captain Price killing Zakayev in another missile silo by the monument over to the south of the park area. Now, we also get to see some shots of what the areas down below the silos are going to be like. Yes, there's going to be some underground fighting in this next season of Warzone. We get to see a little bit of that fighting going on. There's some really tight corridors down there. I feel like this is just going to be SMG and Shotgun Central. But I've also got a feeling that each of these missile silo locations is connected to one of the bunker locations on the map. You might remember at the back of a lot of the bunkers that you can open with the Ren Access keycards or different number combinations, there are secondary doorways that have been locked ever since we were allowed into those bunkers a couple of seasons ago, and I'd wager that those doors hide the underground access point to each of the missile silos. I don't know if that's actually true, but I've kind of got a feeling that that's what's going to happen. We also get a small glimpse of the minigun equipped helicopters in the trailer, it seems those are returning in Season 2, and you might remember that at the very beginning of what well, day one of the first season of the Cold War integration, those things were glitched, they made people invisible, and you didn't take any damage. So hopefully, if they are coming back, that has been fixed. And then there's this ominous ending scene to the trailer. There's a gigantic tanker ship coming towards Verdansk. Now, for a bit of context, we're going to refer to the blog post here, but... This tanker ship is called the Vodianoi, I think that's how you pronounce it, and until recently, it could be seen on the Rebirth Island map off of the coast. That ship is now already visible on the Verdansk map. Some people have captured images of it out in the distance. Now, according to the blog post, recent intel suggests that the cargo tanker Vodianoi has gone missing at sea. However, recent visuals have identified a vessel matching the description heading towards the port of Verdansk. Operators within the vicinity are recommended to exercise extreme caution as the ship is carrying unknown cargo and its crew are not able to be contacted. Meanwhile, within Verdansk, something major is beginning to rumble deep underground. Although other reports on these new locales are still classified, we'd advise to explore these areas at your own risk. Now, this to me suggests that that ship is going to get closer and closer as the season progresses, or even it's going to get closer and closer up until the launch of the new season, and then it'll come into play as the season starts. We don't quite know which of those two it's going to be, but there's a reason that that tanker has appeared out in the water off the coast. I'm really interested to see how the story continues to unfold and what kind of hidden secrets Warzone still has 
for us to uncover. And it just adds some more excitement when there's an underlying story or narrative to these things. It has been quite a while since the end of 2020 when we came to the end of the Modern Warfare storyline and we transitioned over to Black Ops Cold War. There's been a few months where not much has really happened for Warzone in terms of the storyline. We've kind of just been standing in one place for the last few months. So this update, it's really welcome from my point of view. And like I say, I can't wait to hear more about this storyline and what's going to happen to this Verdansk map moving forwards. Okay, so that's the map changes and the general storyline. Let's talk about the new weapons. We've got four of them coming as part of Season 2. Two of them will come on Day 1 as part of the Battle Pass, and then two of them will be part of a mid-season update. First of all, we have the Farah 83, and this to me just looks like a Galil assault rifle. And according to the blog post, this is going to be a heavyweight assault rifle, claiming one of the fastest fire rates in its class, and it has outstanding effective range for solid damage. This is part of the Battle Pass at Tier 15, so this should be one of the first things you unlock on maybe Day 1, 2, or 3 of the new season. Then we have the LC-10 SMG. We did get to see this in the trailer for a couple of seconds, and it's said to be an SMG that stretches fights out into the mid-range with some solid accuracy and extended effective damage range. It'll have a lower damage per shot than some other SMGs that you can take, but it has an overall faster fire rate and low recoil to compensate for that. And this will be the rank 31 unlock in the Season 2 Battle Pass as well. So those two guns, the Farah 83 and the LC-10 SMG, both of those are day one weapons for Season 2. Then there's the R1 Shadow Hunter. This is a crossbow. And yes, I can already see you down in the comments asking me to make a crossbow video. It is coming, just I don't know when because I don't have a lot of time to unlock it at the moment. But I will do it just, you know, soon. <laughs> this is described as a simple and lightweight, good for hip fire crossbow in close quarters, but you can also attach optics to it for longer range action if you want to. And this will be added to season two at some point in the future, probably part of a mid season update. And I might regret saying this, but wouldn't it be really cool to do a loadout with the modern warfare crossbow and the black ops cold war crossbow in the same class, if you're allowed to do that? That would be pretty cool. Imagine winning a solo with those two guns. That would just be insane. And then lastly, this is probably the most exciting weapon for me. We have the ZRG 20mm sniper rifle. This weapon is built to eliminate targets at extreme long ranges, having a faster bullet velocity than any other in its class, as well as the ability to single shot to the head, the chest, and the shoulders in exchange for a slow rate of fire. This weapon also has a fast reload, so there's going to be a shorter downtime between the two shots. Now, this sounds like an absolute powerhouse, and I can't wait to give it a go in Warzone. The only thing that slightly concerns me is this one-shot potential to the chest and the shoulders, as well as the head. That might be a little bit overpowered. In fact, I'm pretty confident that's going to be overpowered, but we'll just have to wait and see because we haven't used the gun yet. And this is also a mid-season weapon as well, so it'll appear at some point during Season 2. I mean, overall, all of this sounds like a fantastic update to Warzone. The one thing I think that could have actually topped it would have been the announcement of a brand new Warzone map, like the rumours and the leaks have been pointing to, but this is arguably the next best thing. We're getting Verdansk map changes, an advancement in the storyline and the lore behind Warzone, tying into Black Ops Cold War a bit more, and several new weapons for us to use, rank up, and build into our loadouts. Of course, those leaks and those rumours about the new map, they could still be completely untrue. We could be looking at stuff that's no longer happening. So, as always, take that stuff with a pinch of salt. But at least we know now we've got a solid new season coming to Warzone. But yeah, that's about it for today. So thanks very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you're excited about Season 2, let me know down below in the comments section. Of course, I'll be doing videos every single day for as long as possible because what else is there to do in the world at the moment? I'll be covering all the new weapons here on the channel, probably doing them in different ways with different loadouts so that they work differently. And of course, carrying on playing with the guys and just playing more Warzone because I like doing that. And if you like watching that stuff, then subscribe for more. I'll be posting more Warzone videos every single day. And I'll catch you all in the next one.